Hey guys, Neil Shepard, Wild with Lizard Akins. A little different setting today. We're not at the dealership, so we're in a more humble and uh, familiar setting to me and my cameraman, Mr. Brady Shepard, behind us. So we're actually here doing some uh, baseball training today. And before we do, we want to showcase our latest covert edition. Now, our covert trucks, we've been seeing them everywhere, y'all. Uh, it's baseball season, and we've been seeing a lot of our trucks in the parking lots at various baseball facilities not just in this area but everywhere now before we get started i figured we would take the covert on the field right here and do some donuts on the infield what do y'all think y'all ready to do that <laughs> no just just playing we're at winder rec department and they're getting ready for the weekend tournament so they're doing a great job prepping the fields today so we're just gonna do some cage work and some covert work so let's get right to it Okay, so first of all, up front is a huge difference to me. I hope you guys noticed from our pre previous generation, that 13th Gen F-150, the STX grill. We really do like the way this grill looks on many different combos. So we even like to uh, rob this grill uh, from, from the FT STX line and use them on different trucks. So we really love our very first STX package cover on the 14th Gen 2021. So this is an Agate Black STX. As far as paintwork up front, all we had to paint guys was the emblem. So we removed the blue and did black on the front uh, badge to match Agate Black. So that really cleans up the front, looks phenomenal. You've got a nice looking um, grill combo. Essentially, it's a very sporty, uh, aggressive, premium, luxurious front end in totality even without any custom paintwork so you do the bl uh, blue to black uh, it just makes it look that much better so very sporty in that honeycomb style grill you do not have the daytime running lights it's on here but you do have nice halogen headlights high beam low beam and a nice fog light there so a few differences on the stx the stx is essentially an xl truck with some additional features like the big eight inch touchscreen, 20 inch wheels your um, tilt and cruise and more so that's a great combo it doesn't break the bank but you get lots of value especially when you pair it with our covert edition it hits that sweet spot for overall value uh, for you the customer so love the way the front end looks now we can do different things with the headlights but essentially i love the way the headlight looks from the factory on the stx now coming on around y'all we are covert action leveled on 34 so show them a good side shot bray of the STX package looks great so via a two inch ready lift uh, spacer style level kit and you saw on Ryan from Southern Nets barbecue we used on his platinum truck one of the nicest trucks we've ever done uh, the fuel blitz we wanted to show the fuel blitz that high-end looking luxurious sporty premium wheel on a more uh, lower trim level truck so you can use this wheel this wheel is not an expensive wheel y'all so this wheel will work on any package truck from you know the, the xls all the way up to the platinum so keep in mind you can take a wheel uh this in the low 300 dollars per wheel uh, not very expensive at all uh, in the scheme of things and make a uh, more base truck look just like a platinum truck when it comes to your wheel and tire package now as far as tires we did the bf good rinse mud terrain km3 tire we love this tire i love it y'all uh, it looks very aggressive but it's not not very noisy at all and rides pretty daggum smooth to be a true mud terrain tire so the km3 295 60 20 it's a 34 inch tire uh, about 11.8 wide so this is the best balance as far as trimming show and bray we did not remove the crash bars front or rear very very minor trimming i think all we had the trim was some of the lower valence just a little bit right there and that's it y'all so this combo works very well it's a 20 by 9 wheel with a plus 20 offset so it's tucked in a little bit more so if it was that zero offset it'd be a little bit more out and you'd have to do some more trimming uh, on your front and rear inner fender part so this is that sweet spot 295 60 20 on that plus offset wheel is just a home run as far as fitment and overall looks so let's show mild to wild scale 
while we're talking about it. So being in the plus range, we're sticking in a little bit more than we normally do, but it's still an inch and a half outside the fender. So it's still an aggressive stance, y'all, but we're gonna call it in that mid range on the mild to wild scale. So I uh, love the way this truck looks, black on black. Going back to the headlights, we can paint the inside of these headlights if you wanna remove some more of the, the chrome that's going on, on on this package, but we kinda leaving it up to you, the customer, on this one, y'all. So over here on the side also, we did, this is that texture gray. We removed the texture and did body color on that teardrop side badge there. So we wanted to, it didn't match y'all. It, it matched nothing on the vehicle. So we wanted to remove that, did the gate black to match. And this is kind of where I need to talk to you, the, you, the, the viewers. This right here says STX in red. Um, take a note of that and plus the F-150 in the chrome. Back here in the back too, y'all on this side badge sticker. I'm so torn on what to do. STX, four by four, it's in red also. You got a big hefty tail light there. So whoever buys this truck, I wanna make sure and talk to them and say, hey, we can remove that red. We can do it like a matte black or a different four by four sticker back here in the back. We could do some custom paint work on this as well as the headlights. If you want a true custom blacked out package from our covert lineup here at Aikens, or you can leave it. I think personally it works both ways. The red complements each other nicely. With the STX, you could just leave it the way it is. Essentially y'all, what I'm getting at is we did not want to remove the red or this sticker or do anything to the headlights quite just yet to keep the price point down where it needs to be um, in this segment. And then secondly, just leave it up to the customer that buys this to decide from there. So let me know what you think. Should we, should we have removed it or is it okay to leave it? Let me know. Now, I guess the most uh, apparent thing out back that you probably know we've already done is we did the blue to black on the rear emblem. And that just looks so great. Even on the STX package, you get the uh, reverse sensing system, which is great. Uh, the only other thing, you know, we've got an Aikens liner in the back also, but the other thing we have not done yet that makes me feel, ah, is that there's no bed cover on here. So we're at the ball field. I'm thinking if I'm here at the ball field practicing or watching another game and I do not have a bed cover on my truck, all this is up for grabs. And you know the way the world is these days, you've got to protect your investments uh, from the elements via the weather or un Unhonest, dishonest people. So there's a, there's plenty of dishonest people out there that would definitely just take all this this nice stuff if they had the avenue or, or means to. So uh, we've got to add a bed cover. So what bed cover should we do with? Should we should we do a undercover trifold, a retractable style? Uh, let, let us know in the comments what bed cover we should put on this covert because if you've got a covert truck and you're frequently at the ball field, you need a cover from the protect from the weather and just to keep your uh, precious. Uh, gear safe so we definitely want to add a bed cover to this one and that'll finish this build y'all um, on the inside let's show them the inside bray on the inside even on the stx you can get it with with vinyl floors um, and just a nice cloth seating it's a it's a good feeling cloth as well on the inside you still get the big eight inch touch screen on this package uh, lots of value in the STX package as a whole, and you're leveled on 34s via covert. Now, show them right here. Here's the batting cages. Brady's about to get some swings in, so I'll let you know how he did in the cage today. Y'all let me know what kind of bed cover and what to do with these side badges and headlights and stuff. Do we need to go more deep into it as far as removing some of the chrome and red throughout, or do we keep it the way it sits? I'm gonna show you one more side shot and we'll wrap this thing up, y'all. So y'all, I hope you enjoyed a little different setting uh, for our latest review right here at Wire Wiz at Aikens. We are in Winder. We're probably five minutes from the dealership. So we like to come here um, we have great partnerships with Winder. We come here to practice and do all things, but uh, a good backdrop to film this video uh, on our latest Covert Edition at Wild Woods at Aiken Jaw. Hope you love this one. A black on black will sell so fast. I'd say a couple days, this one's gone. So as soon as I publish this, let me know your thoughts and comments on what we should change or add to it. I'd love to hear from you guys. Wild Woods at Aikens. I'm Neil Shepard. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much.